You killed Maggie. That he did. He was a god, but you killed him. Minor Aesir, perhaps, but I. And his father is Thor. Not minor. Not minor at all, him. This will not go over well in Asgard. I defended us. Nothing more. I fear no judgment. Judgment, no. But if vengeance is any concern. Since when can you kill a god? <coughs> Look here. Another. Ah, you know this one, don't you? It's Thamel, the giant stonemason. Is he building a wall around Jotunheim? It was to be his masterwork. He only wanted to protect his people. Too bad the first part got burned. I prefer the last panel was burned. Such a senseless pity. What now then? Maybe Freya ought to have a look at the boy. No, I feel better now. I just needed to catch my breath. Where do we go next? Well, now that we've got the giant's chisel, we need to learn the travel rune to Yacht Knight, so we can carve it into that special gateway atop the peak and open realm travel to the land of the giants. You don't know it? Alas, no. But the serpent did mention that the giants had entrusted that secret to Tyr. Isn't Tyr dead? Aye, but his hidden boat is very much in reach. The doors are beneath his temple, submerged in the lake for generations until our snake friend shifted his weight. There we shall find the fabled Black Rune of Jotunheim. We could also explore some more. We got that chisel now, and that vault isn't going anywhere. It seems a shame to waste the boat. We shall see, boy. You were in the middle of a story before. What were you saying about the Long War? Enough was enough. And at last, Odin's most brilliant advisor became determined to find a more enlightened path. He set about to broker a peace between the gods. It took some convincing, but ultimately Odin was persuaded to marry his deadliest enemy. A certain Vanir goddess, legendary not only for her fertile beauty, but her genius at the very Vanir magic that Odin had long aspired to master. Freya married Odin? What was in it for her? It was a sacrifice to protect her people. A selfless act of love. Truly, she deserves better than she got. But of course, there's more to that story. Did you see something out there? That tower? I see no tower. Maybe I'm seeing things. Is behind that magical law. Setting foot in Tyr's vault. Another one of these. It's Tyr, but the middle panel is missing. Wait, I thought Tyr was a god, not a giant. Aye, but he was loved by everyone, including the giants. Other than me, he was the only one they gifted with their special sight. Hey, I wonder if the giants left a triptych about me somewhere, too. Go ahead. Actually, come look. Let me show you how to read this. That is not necessary. You've taught me so much. Let me teach you something. Atreus. Come on. You already speak it. Learning to read won't be that hard. 
I know how to read, boy. Just not this tongue. You're halfway there already, then. Okay, so the runes represent a lot of different things. Some gods, some animals. Wait. Some... Oh, am I going too fast? Sorry. Not I'll... that. Do you smell something? Yeah, I do. Smells like. Rain? You ruined everything! I earned that fucking hammer! But now, everyone's gonna think I only got it. Cause Magni's gone! Be a joke! Or if I kill you, no one's gonna laugh at me. Is that your father's doing? Or did you get it from your mum? She's stupid and ugly. Shut up! You don't know anything about my mother. Oh, it's true. But I'm gonna get to know you really well. You're gonna be my new brother. Right after I finish killing your father! Stop it! Whoops! Mosley God broke him! <laughs> no! Stay back! Brother, the boy. Atreus. You have to get into Freya quickly. There's no other way. I'm still a god. Go away. The boy has fallen ill. Freya! He's ill. Inside. This is no ordinary illness. The boy's true nature, your true nature, fights within him. a rare ingredient found only in Helheim. The keeper that protects the Bridge of the Damned. I need its heart. Mm -hmm. Hell. The realm of the dead. Do you know it? Not this one. It is a land of unyielding gold. Fires cannot burn there, and no magic in all the nine realms can create a blaze. As for the dead, your frost axe will be useless. You'll need to find something else. Then I must return home. Dig up a past I swore would stay buried. Who you were before doesn't matter. This boy is not your past, he is your son. And he needs his father. This rune opens the bridge to Helheim. When you are there, do not, under any circumstances, cross the Bridge of the Damned. There is no road back. Understand? Mm. Uh. Boy. Hey, Mille. You must hurry. Through my garden, there's a path leading to my boat. Take it. Return home. Dig up your past. Do whatever you need to do. Just bring me back the Bridge Keeper's heart, and your son may survive. In 
last we spoke, I was... No. You were right to distrust the word of a god. No need to explain. Not to me, not for that. I will keep him safe. That's a mother's promise. Helheim of all places. You all right, brother? I will do what I must. Leave me.
There's nowhere you can hide, Spartan. Put as much distance between you and the truth as you want. It changes nothing. Pretend to be everything you are not. Teacher. Husband. Father. But there is one unavoidable truth you will never escape. <laughs> you cannot change. You will always be... a monster. I know. But I am your monster no longer. Alright, brother. Let's see what those blades can do. a door to the realm between realms over there, in your own front yard, no less. Take the shortcut back to the realm travel temple, then on to Helheim, yeah? What? Hey! You reek of foreign magic! Sweet Nana's nethers. What are those? I've never seen the like. That's gotta be a family heirloom. No. Nor will it ever be. Son. My brother and me created me all near for the big idiot. I know from quality. And them... Them special. Hey, where's the little turd? He has fallen ill. No. What happened? Aesir? No. The fault is mine. And my responsibility to make it right. Now, we all gotta take responsibility sometime, huh? Say, what can I do to help him? I can do things. What, I should tag along? No. Your work here is enough. All right. So where are you off to in such a hurry? The realm of the dead. Helheim? Shit, this is serious. Now that Freya's given you the travel room to Helheim, it should be unlocked on the table.
watching your back. Let me take this moment to tell you that what you are about to do is absolutely insane. Odin can survive this. So, I hope those blades work. The Bridge of the Damned. And there's the Keeper, making sure the dead are really dead. What is that he holds? That totem contains a powerful source of magical energy, the very power of Helheim itself. But what you want is his heart. Just take it and we can leave. How? Start some trouble. You can do that, right? the heart, brother. You'll have to get your hands dirty.
of the heart. I need nothing more. You're set. Time not to linger here, though, eh? Kratos. Zeus. Zeus? My father. Your father was Zeus? Well, that explains a lot. What is that place? Never go there. Understand? How is he here? That is not possible. It's just an illusion. Hell's known for torturing its inhabitants with their own past. We should focus on getting back to your son. Psst. Yeah. Shh. He ain't supposed to be here. It's cold. Real quick, give me your blades. Why? Yeah, I said I'd help you and I aim to. Come on. Uh, my equipment's in Midgard. Be right back. Yeah. You don't suppose he'd make those, do you? There. Now they're ready for the winds of hell. Just target this magical glowy bit here with your blades and throw. Now target that wind trap with your blade. It's that little ball hanging in the middle of the room. See there? Now you can absorb and release the winds of hell whenever it damn pleases. So you're welcome and I'm leader. This place is cold enough to freeze a pair of pigeon eggs. I sometimes wonder if there was once some sort of accident in his brain. We have been away too long. Shouldn't delay, brother. It's straight back to Midgard with that heart. Your father was Zeus? I finally understand! I'm dangling from the hip of the bloody ghost of Sparta! Do not call me that. What? Don't mistake me, brother. From what I heard, the Pantheon had it coming. There's still a bit to take in. I knew you hate gods, but you really can't stay away from them, can you? You must say nothing to the boy. He must never know. Bollocks, brother. Respectfully, bollocks. He has to know. He'll never be whole without the truth. Look, I get it. You hate the gods. All gods. It's no accident that includes yourself. And it includes your boy. You see that? He feels that. He can't help what he is. He can't begin to help it because you haven't even told him. It's all connected, man. You will tell him nothing. Very well. So you know that shortcut between realms? Well, I made it better. Or I might have broke it. We use that. I know what you do. So I took a few cuss from them winds of hell and made it so it ain't just one way. Now you can use it to travel to and from. If I didn't break it. Then we can take it to Freya. There's an idea, brother. Might be some kings to sort out, but you'll make it. Just go, brother. Well, you gentlemen certainly know how to get around. Well, this isn't right. Ah, but close enough. He did say there were kinks. We must hurry. The heart. You have it. Yes. Back of your hand. He 
este ruido. I can break the fever, but to heal. He must know the truth of what he is. Yes. It is not so simple. Help me prop him up. Did I tell you that I have a son, too? It's been... forever since I last saw him. At his birth, the runes foretold a needless death. The babe in my arms was so... small. So helpless. I knew right then I would do anything to protect him. No matter the sacrifice. Of course, everything I did, I did for myself. I let my needs, my fears, come before what he needed. And I couldn't see his resentment until it was too late. Don't make the same mistake. Have faith in him. I know the truth isn't simple, but nothing is when it involves your child. It is a curse. The boy has been cursed. Don't leave without me. I will not. I'm better now. I see that. Is he well enough to travel? For now. It won't happen again. I promise. You see that it does not. Thanks. Your father did the heavy lifting. You should stay, recover. You have done enough. You know my door is always open to you. Sorry, guess we're going. Now then. Before Modi so rudely interrupted us, we were just about to explore Tyr's vault. Yes, to find the Black Rune. Boy, do you know the way from here? Oh, I don't know. Sure you do, lad. We need a boat. I don't know. I guess we need a boat. Okay, then. Ah, see? The boat washed ashore. Someone did call a serpent earlier. Get in. I will pull. You are quiet. Are you not better? I guess. I know you overheard my talk with Freya. You think you understand, but you do not. Why do you say nothing? You said I was cursed. You think I'm weak because I'm not like you. I know I was never what you wanted. But after all this, I thought maybe things were different. You do not know everything, boy. No. But at least I know the truth now. The truth? The truth. 
I am a god boy. From another land far from here. When I came to these shores, I chose to live as a man. But the truth is... I was born a god. And so were you. Boy. Have you nothing to say? Um... Can I... Turn into an animal? Can you... Turn... Into an animal? No. No, I do not think so. I'm a god. Mother knew? She was a god too? No. She was mortal, but she knew my true nature. I'm a god. Why did you wait so long to tell me? I had hoped to spare you. Being a god, it can be a lifetime of anguish and tragedy. That is the curse. Hmm. What sorts of things can I do? Can I fly? Turn invisible? I don't feel like God. I do not know the reach of your godhood. But over time, we will learn. You sure I can't turn into a wolf? You are welcome to surprise me. Is this why I hear voices sometimes? Are you sure you've never heard any? Not as you do. That's no surprise. Every god is unique. So, maybe I won't get strong like father, but I'll have abilities all my own? You already do, laddie. Your faculty for language is extraordinary for one so young. Time alone will tell what else you'll become capable of. So you knew all along? I did, lad. But I've known more than my share of gods. Me too, apparently. I wonder who else knew I was a god. Freya, for sure. Brock and Sindri? They do not need to know. <gasps> Baldur! Does he know? Is that why he's after us? Do you know him from before? The day of your mother's funeral was the first I ever saw Baldur. That is the truth. Hey, we don't have to go right back to Tears Vault. Do we? I mean, we're God. We can do whatever we want, right? What do you really feel like doing right now? I will show you. Let's try this again, without interruptions. I wish I'd known I was a god in Alphon. I wouldn't have felt so bad about killing so many elves. Well, I'm not sure that's the lesson. You've done nothing to regret. The elves forced their affairs upon us. No, I get it now. We had god things to do, and they were in the way, dragging us into their little problems. Again, are we just leaving that there? I mean, just knowing we're gods makes me feel so much strong. Maybe you feel a little too good right now. With power comes a big choice, lad. You can either serve yourself, or put your godhood in the service of others, like Tyr did. People really loved him, huh? Aye. A god of war, but one who fought for peace. Had a reputation for being heroic and lawful, using his power and knowledge to stop wars rather than start them. So there are good gods? Once in a moon it's been known to happen, yes. This one mentions places I've never heard of. Seems Tyr really liked to travel. Tyr believed the mind, not might, was key to preventing war and chaos. And he also knew visiting other cultures would give him perspective staying in one place could not. While Odin always hoarded knowledge, guarding it jealously, Tyr was open and sharing with his learning and his wisdom. For this, mortals adored Tyr. 
showing their love by bringing him gifts the world over. So, whatever happened to Tyr? Odin came to regard him as a threat to his rule. He suspected Tyr of collaborating to aid the giants instead of helping to steal their secrets for the Aesir. The same thing he accused me of, frankly. Though in Tyr's case, I believe he was right. You think Tyr was helping the giants? I do. He felt responsible for the suffering visited upon them by Odin. I suspect he had something to do with helping them cover their tracks. The missing Jotunheim town. Correct. Whatever happened to it, I believe it could only have been done with Tyr and the giants working together. Where is it back? I don't know. I've never been in here. The stone! That has to be it! Naturally. What'd you find? Enough distraction. Do not forget why we are here. Okay. chases the sun. For Ragnarok to happen, they have to eat them. But these are out of order. Good boy. So the moon goes on the left, sun on the right. With Midgard in the middle, but which bar do I pull? Middle, quickly! Left. Gotta get them in order. The middle! Right, boy! Moon on the left, sun on the left! Get it! Well, I can't drown. Guess that's something. Boy, 
You have to stop that chain! How? I... I do not know. Wait, I know what to do. Her knife? There's no other way! It's not worth it! That should have worked! I know, but it saved you. That was cunning, boy. We'll see what Tears got for us. protection. It rubbed off. There it is. We've got it. Boy. Yeah. On the day you were born, I made two knives, mixing metals from my home and from this land. One for myself, and when you were ready, one for you. Today is that day. So I'm a man now, like you? No. We are not men. We are more than that. The responsibility is far greater. And you must be better than me. Understand? Say it. You will be better. The power of this weapon, any weapon, comes from here. But only when tempered by this, by the discipline, the self-control of the one who wields it. That is where the true strength of a warrior lies. You must never forget that. Good then. Come.
We're so close to the end. Sit. Lemnian wine. The island of Lemnos. Near the place of my birth. Journey's end. Really? It smells like rotten eggs. Is it still good? Possibly. Father, why did you leave your home and come here? Does it have to do with the other gods there? Hmm. It's just, you hate the gods so much. But Tyr proves that gods can be good. And you're good. You only killed those deserving, right? Yes. Ah. But who's worthy enough to judge? Quiet, Head. We are. We know better. Uh huh. Sounding more like your da by the moment. Ready. Ready. Come. I think I'm gonna like being a god. Go see the giant. Aye. Having learned that travel rune to Jotunheim, we can now head back to the gateway on top of the peak and put that magic chisel to good use. Nobody's getting in our way this time. Come on. So what? Uh, excited to finally see the land of the giants? Yeah, but also sad the journey's almost over. Oh, what if we get to Jotunheim and there aren't any giants there either? Makes little difference to us. Fulfilling your mother's wish is what is important. Ah! Oh, don't go anywhere. Be with you in two shakes. Father, can I tell him? No. Tell me what? Did you put this wheel in your mouth? Oh, God. I I'll vomit. I I'm not kidding. I'll throw up on it. It is nothing. A family matter. Oh. Uh, uh, oh. I can tell you a thing or two about family matters. Oh, oh. Let me guess. Your brother isn't as talented as you, and his work is junk. Um, those things are accurate. Your point? It's all you ever talk about, over and over. Do something about it or shut up already. I see. Yeah! We're sick of hearing about little people's little problems! Um... All right. That hurt a little. Let's have a look at your gear then. My old father called me a coward. 
Looks like he did more than that. Move it, or we'll pick up where he left off. I'll kill you. <laughs> No. He is beaten. Not worth killing. He should pay for what he said about Mother. I said no. But we're gods. We can do whatever we want. <laughs> That's what I said to your mother, right before I gave it to her. What are you doing? This is a much better knife than mother's. You killed against my wishes. You lost control. Haven't you been teaching me to kill? I have been teaching you to survive. We are gods, boy. And that makes us a target. From now until the end of days, you are marked. So I teach you to kill, yes. But in defense of yourself. Never as an indulgence. Nobody cared about him anyways. What's the difference? There are consequences to killing a god! Why? How do you know? How do you know? Watch your tone, boy. Whatever. Learn if you won't teach me. You do not heed my lessons. I've done everything you asked, and all I wanted was the truth. Where did you get your fire blades? Why did you hide them? You said there are consequences to killing a god. You used the blades to kill one. Who else did you kill before Magni? How many? Do you hear me? I heard you. And these are not subjects for discussion. Do not push me, boy. Fine. Amir, guess what? I know everything I need to know now. I have nothing else to learn. Ah, oh, congratulations. You two. The silence is getting unnerving. Don't worry about it. We're focusing. Nearly there now. Finally. Boy, the room. Carve along that.
Wow. Yonan. We made it. Beautiful, isn't it? Why well, I remember once. Brother, look out! <laughs> Miss me. <laughs> Run, boy! Cross the bridge! No! I'm a god, too! I can do this! Get off him! Really? Walter, let him go! Take me instead! I'll do whatever you have! Shut up! All this time, I thought I needed you! You're just me. Uh, Turns out the boy is the brains. No! You broke the gate! That was our only way to Yonan! Stupid son. Bitch! Get out of here, boy. Yes! By all means, Junior, run away. Let Daddy do all the heavy lifting for you. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Let go! Calm down, boy. You are not ready for this. I am oh! ready! And here I thought my family was fucked up. <laughs> oh, your father is right, boy. You are far from ready. Now would you be so kind as to hold this for me? Thank you. Atreus! Yeah. Whoa. Ah. Whoa. Ah. 
activated the bridge! Hey! I asked you a question! <laughs> and when the bridge opens, the full weight of Asgard will come crashing down on you. <laughs> it's over. Is it? So be it. To me. Let me out! Let go of it now or I will kill him, you know I will. What did you do? Stay still! You will listen to me and not speak a word! I am your father, and you, boy, are not yourself. You are too quick to temper. You are rash, insubordinate, and out of control. This will not stand. You will honor your mother and abandon this path you have chosen. It is not too late. This discussion is far from over. We are here because of you, boy. Never forget that. Trips. This room. Feasting, drinking, women. It's all gone. But you will never God. have to feel pain again. Death has no power over you now. You would rather die? Than never feel again? Yes. Yes. I would rather die. Yes. Take it away, Mom. I can't. Please. Please. Please take it away. Like that. Son. Trust me in time. You will thank me. You will thank me. Come on. No. Yes. I won't. Come on. Come on. You are my life. Honey, we can figure this out. Trust me, I know how to... No. <laughs>
Child. I never want to see you again. Never. <laughs> Freya is his mother. Why did you keep this from us, Head? Would you believe it slipped my mind? I would not. Uh, I'm at a loss. I assure you I have no reason to keep such a thing a secret. There's the boat. We will speak more of this. Soon. Well, this is seaworthy. We will do. Give me space to work. You have done enough. Just bear in mind this boat can only take us part of the way. Tyr's temple is near the top of a tremendous waterfall which, sadly, we are downstream. That means even if we get there intact, we'd still need to sail up a waterfall somehow. The Vanir built the greatest ship that ever was, and it can fly. Skifplothnir? Yeah, because it was designed to fly. This was not. Nevertheless, this is the boat we have. We may do it. <laughs> Perhaps the biggest iceberg I've ever seen. At least the fire's making heat. What now? This realm now as long as we didn't wreck our way back has his reasons. Might I have a look? Well, 
this is most unexpected. Why? What does it mean? We're having the foggiest. Isn't that unexpected? Good. Look, clearly that's Tyr. Travelling somehow. Perhaps magically. But what's that to do with the giants that they should devote a shrine to it? I'm afraid that is none too clear. What are those runes in the corners? Not runes. Symbols from different lands. They mean... War. Aye. How do you... This one I know too well. Oh. His eyes. They are jewels. Like yours. No doubt signifying the gift of sight the giants granted us. Give me a closer look. Interesting. Very interesting. What is that? Secret plans concealed by Tyr so none could access but him. And those few others the giants trusted. And right under Odin's nose, ho ho ho, I did promise I'd get you to Jotunheim. What do you mean, Head? You said we were out of options. Don't you see, brother? Odin never gave up hope, and neither should we. He knew there was a clue in here, but we're the ones who found it. These plans are for a key to some chamber tears kept hidden. I don't know where it's leading or what we'll find, but it's a path. How do we make this key? I suggest we ask a dwarf. That symbol on the temple door. It's a bunch of rooms together. Peace, unity, hope, other things too. Tears own design. He made this door himself. Boy. Before. When you. saw. I didn't see anything. You did not see me with someone. An old man. What old man? Can we go? Yes. Very well. All right, let's get back to Midgard and see about making that key. Where's that dwarf? tell us Baldur is the son of Freya. He is! It's shocking every time I hear it, and yet obviously I know it. When I think about Baldur and Freya, I... The mayor? Yes, lad. <laughs> Freya. How's that, brother? Hey, tell me Baldur's vulnerability. Baldur is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. Wait, what is happening? He is bewitched not to speak of what he knows. I am? I am! Oh, that's it precisely! I wonder how long that's been so. Since she had my head at her mercy. Back when I figured out Baldur's weakness. I'm here! Yes, lad? You just said you figured out Baldur's weakness. Did I? But Baldur is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. Ugh. Enough. This means there is a way. If he troubles us again... We will find it. Can you make it? Is it a weapon? Armor? Or likewise an instrument of war, of which I'm a master at shaping? No? Then forget it. Even if I wanted to make such an insignificant goo-gaw, I'm liable to chink my tools working on something so delicate and ladylike. Then shingle it. 
Pattern weld the item with scap slag. Keep the layers thin. Alternate the overlay. Okay, smart guy. And where do you propose to find a lump of quality scap slag? Last time I saw one, I could still get rigid down south. Shut your mouth. Is that... Where did you... I had to get my hands dirty. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't just stand there. Let's do this. What? You? You're fine with working on something that's not a weapon? Oh, hell, why not? <laughs> what? I can grow too. Oh, watch, watch the spine. Keep your wrist loose. No, you keep your wrist loose. Yeah, I need more heat here. Coming up. You gonna temper that steel longer? You don't need to. I triple quenched it with Drago oil. See? How inventive. And sanitary. You clever little beaver. Never too late to learn a new trick, is it? <laughs> no, it's not. There. Yeah. Here it is. Nope. Don't forget this. You're grinning. It's downright unsettling. It's just nice to see you together. But now the rune on your brand looks different. Yeah, price of uh, reforging something what broke. I knew it. You two love each other. Oh, cut it out, Francis. You're gonna get me all weak. I like the new one better. Don't you? We have work to do. No. 